All right, let's have a look at the solution to this gallium question. So gallium has two naturally occurring isotopes, gallium-69 with a relative mass of 68.93, gallium-71 with a relative mass of 70.92. Given the relative mass of uh, gallium-69.72, determine the percentage abundance of each isotope. So we've got to go back and we're going to look at our formula that we, uh, we developed. So the mass times abundance plus mass times abundance is equal to the relative atomic mass. So the list of periodic table mass. All right, this is an algebraic question, and I have an unknown. I need to solve for it. So I need to declare some variables. I'm going to say let the abundance of gallium-69 be called x. Now, we might be tempted to say let the abundance of gallium-71 be y, but then we'd be left with uh, two unknowns, and we're not equipped to deal with that yet mathematically. So I'm going to say let the abundance of gallium-71 be 1 minus x, because remember, the abundances need to add up to 100%, or if I'm in decimal talk, they need to add up to 1. So 68.93 times x plus uh, 70.92 times 1 minus x is equal to 69.72. All right. It may look a little bit ugly, but this is now just a simple rearrange and solve for x type scenario. All right, so 68.93x plus 70.92 minus 70.92x is equal to 69.72. Collect like terms, solve. Okay, this leaves me with negative 1.99x. And we'll see, it leaves me also with negative 1.2. Okay, which is going to allow me to do negative 1.2 divided by negative 1.99. X is going to come out to be 0 0.603. So this would tell me that I could upconvert this to percentage. This would tell me that um, gallium-69 is 60.3% abundant, which means if I were to take any sample of gallium, 60.9 or sorry, 60.3% of it would have a mass of 69. And I can look at the other side of this. So I'll do the one minus x, um, which will tell me that 39.7% uh, of gallium would have a mass of uh, 71. All right. So in terms of our course, uh, you're uh, without be unless you're given some additional piece of information, um, you're only ever expected to do this for two abundances, so two for two isotopes. All right. So good times.